Hey guys, I'm finally back to do my next character review. Uh, sorry that it's been a while. Uh, uh, my friend and I have both been re really busy. Um, him with uh, school and work, and me with my uh, now f four part-time jobs. <laughs> um, anyway, um... Uh, like, uh, like I mentioned in my last video, um, this time, this time we're, uh, we're reviewing, um, Joy from Disney Pixar's Inside Out, and, uh, Pitch Black from Rise of the Guardians, and yes, I'm well aware that, uh, Inside Out is a new movie, and there are going to be a ton of spoiler- there were there are a ton of spoilers in my joy video. I mentioned that at the beginning of it. Um, but anyway, um, my friend did my friend did his joy video um, day before yesterday. Uh, uh, I, I did my joy video um, last week, and he did his pitch video. Um, a, uh, a few days before that. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done one. Um, and I'm here today to do my pitch video. Um, l like my friend mentioned in his video, this is the second Rise of the Guardians video that we've done after the, uh, um, a after the Jack Frost video. And another interesting factoid I'd like to point out about this one is, uh, about this review, is, uh, this is the first time that, uh, he's chosen a villain and I've chosen a heroine. Um, every other, t every other time it's been the other way around since I tend to be the villain fan and he tends to be the heroine fan. <laughs> um... Anyway, hopefully this won't be too long a video since uh, Pitch has a relatively short list of complaints. Um, his, uh, and they are, his backstory wasn't explained, he has no depth and layers to him, he's dull and boring, um, he's evil, like any other villain. Now, uh, that, that complaint goes with any other villain. Um, he killed Sandy. Um, he's a coward. Um, he tried to kill Jamie. Um, he enjoys giving little kids nightmares. Um, uh, he's a weak villain. He's too scary. Mm, definitely not my opinion. Starting with his backstory wasn't explained. Uh, well, like my friend mentioned, none of the Guardians, with the exception of uh, Jack Frost, really had their backstory explained. Um, his was mm, briefly explained in that uh, in that he in that pe people quit believing in the uh, bo boogeyman. Uh, being him, and, uh, he wants them to, uh, start believing in, in him again, but, uh, I don't really see that his backstory is any more or less explained than theirs are. And another thing I'd like to mention is, most cartoon villains really don't have their backstory explained. I mean, uh really don't have their backstory explained in depth. Um, like, uh, why does, uh, Cruella de Vil in the original 101 Dalmatians have such an obsession with fur? Uh, <laughs> also, um, uh, in the in the Little Mermaid in the Disney Little Mermaid, basically all it says about Ursula's backstory is um, she was banished and exiled. Why? <laughs> what 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 did she do? What 
prom what prompted her to do whatever she did. Um, so, unless you're talking about, um, comic villains like, uh, co comic book va based villains like from Batman the Animated Series or something like that, um, where, uh, like, uh, M Mr. Freeze is given a, uh, tragic backstory or something like that, um, where, where Mr. Freeze is given a tragic backstory about his, uh, uh, trying to save his dying wife and getting involved in the accident that made him not be able to survive above sub-zero temperatures, or, uh, um... Or, uh, Harley starting out as a, uh, prison counselor and falling for Joker stories and that kind of stuff. Um, it, it, unless you're talking about a comic book-based type villain like that, um, you're really not going to have a detailed backstory about any cartoon villain. Uh... <laughs> So, to me, this sounds more like you have a problem with, uh... uh a, a, a problem with, uh, the fact that cartoon villains in general have, uh, don't, don't have much of a backstory than, uh... You know, than, than Pitch himself. Uh, so, nice try, but come up with a better reason. He has no depth and layers to him. Um, again, the, the average cartoon villain really doesn't have a ton of depth and layers. And um, compared to a lot of them, Pitch really does. I mean... Um, what... what um, like my friend mentioned, there are there are a lot of hints towards his backstory, like where he's um, t talking to Jack Frost, trying to get him to join him, which does add a lot of depth to him. And uh, and uh, sorry if I'm stutter. Sorry that I'm stuttering a lot. I haven't done one of these in a while. Like I said. Um, <laughs> And I, I will be covering some more of this in later complaints, because, like always, these complaints do kind of overlap. Um, there's the fact that he really has much of a backstory to speak of at all. Um, there's a... There, um, there, there's, there's the fact that he, what wants people to believe in him, and isn't after the, the typical villain, uh, money and power and blah 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 and that kind of stuff, and there's also the, thing, the thing that he enjoys giving kids nightmares and the pleasure that he gets out of it. And, and 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 that sort of thing. So I mean, while while he's no, uh, while he's no Mister Freeze as far as depth goes, he definitely has more depth than yes, my my favorite villain and my third favorite fictional character, Cruella Deville. Yes, he definitely has more depth than she does. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you actually heard me say that. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. 
So yeah, while well, while he's not not the most complex villain ever, he's definitely not not the least complex, uh, especially compared to a lot of the to a lot of the Disney villains like uh, Jafar, Maleficent, Cruella, the, those type of characters. He's dull and boring. Uh. Boring is very subjective, very much in the eye of the beholder, blah blah blah. <laughs> I've been over this a lot. I mean, um, what, um, um, what, what, uh, what one person finds, uh, interesting, another person finds boring. I mean, uh, there are, there are a lot of people that say that uh, Minnie Mouse is a very boring uh, Mary Sue character with ap with uh, <laughs> no no, no uh, with uh, n nothing interesting about her. Um, and you all not know that she's my second favorite fictional character and my favorite fictional female character. Um, so it. it it all depends on what your personal taste is, and um, if you find him boring, then he's probably just not a character that's for you. He's evil. Well, duh, he is the villain. <laughs> um... Uh... While I can understand people not being into villains and finding them um, as fascinating as, as I do. Uh, um, I don't really see a character being a villain or being evil as a legitimate reason uh, just to just to hate them. Um, I can see it I, 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 I can see people not 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 to uh, L l liking villains in general and not being, uh, n not not uh, enjoying villains as a, uh, not enjoying villains very much, but just automatically hating them because they're evil and they're the villain. That's that's kind of a weak reason to do it. Um, I mean. That that seems uh, kind of like kind of like something a little kid would think. Even though when I was a kid, I was much more into the villains than the good guys. Probably because uh, the first couple of movies I saw as a kid, um, the <laughs> the the good guys were kind of uh, boring. Like the first movie that I saw was a um, hundred and one Dalmatians, and I found. Uh, the good guys like Pongo and Perdita and Anita and Roger to be pretty boring and the only interesting characters in it to be like uh, uh, Cruella and uh, to a lesser extent Jasper and Horace. And I think the second movie I saw was uh, uh, Sleeping Beauty and the same with that. I found uh, uh, Aurora and Philip to be pr pretty boring, kind of like I do now. And Maleficent to be Maleficent and her uh, minions and and uh, her uh, ra Raven to be pretty much the only interesting characters in it. And because of that, I started uh, uh, kind of ro rooting for the bad guy. But that's beside the point. Um, so, so, since then, I've I've grown I, I've grown to to. Uh, <laughs> have an interest in both the bad guys and good guys. So, I mean, I, while I can see a, 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 ch a child, uh, um, you know, not, not, not liking the, the villain because they're evil and you know, mean to the good guys that you're supposed to root for, I don't really see this as a legitimate, uh, reason to hate a character with an adult. He killed Sandy. Again, he is... <laughs> well, he... 
uh, again, he, he is the villain. What do you what do you expect a villain to do? Um, unless they're sort of a villain slash anti hero with some sort of moral code, like a uh, Catwoman or Mister Freeze or something like that. Um, you uh, really can't expect them to. Uh, to, to have a moral code and not want to kill a character. And, uh... Um... Um... Uh, like my friend mentioned, uh... There are a lot of characters that get hate um, just because they, uh kill or almost kill uh, their, um, someone's favorite character. Um, I, I, I forget the name of the character from Once Upon a Time, but she was the one who uh, uh, who, who finally killed uh, Cruella de Vil in that series, to which I reply, Good riddance to that imposter! Ha ha ha! But yeah, all, 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 all of the fans of the Once Upon a Time Cruella are uh, <laughs> are uh, ha hating on her for for uh, uh, killing uh, for for killing the, the the Once Upon a Time version of Cruella, and uh, uh, there there are a bunch of other ones. And my question is again still, uh, why why doesn't Tinkerbell get any hate? Uh, for intentionally trying to kill, uh, <laughs> uh, <w> Wendy. <laughs> when, uh, Tinkerbell is portrayed as the good guy and she intentionally tries, uh, to kill the other heroine of the, uh, uh <laughs> of, the, of the movie. That makes absolutely no sense to me. When, why a villain gets hate for killing somebody... And a uh, and a heroine gets no hate for intentionally trying to kill somebody somebody out of jealousy. He's a coward. Mm. Like my friend said, I think you're confusing uh, uh, cowardism with uh, fear. Uh, um. And, uh, and, and again, the, um, that, that's another thing that I think adds a lot of depth to his character, because there aren't that many villains that are shown actually being afraid of something. Um, um, when, when I think of, uh, cowardly villains. I think of, like, Prince John from Robin Hood, who, uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> sucks his thumb and cries for his mommy, or, uh, uh, Scar from The Lion King, and yes, I know he's very popular, who, uh, cowardly, b um, but blames, um, uh, B blames everything on his henchmen, or uh, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the the uh, Be Beagle Boys from Ducktales, um, uh, <laughs> who who are uh, uh, sc sc scared to death of 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 <laughs> of, 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 of pretty much everything that's. Uh, that's thrown at them and uh, uh, basically act, act like little girls, even at the slightest sign of of danger. Um, and and um, are even uh, <laughs> are, are are even afraid of the little girl at one point uh, when uh, uh, when. Uh, uh, 
when uh, we when uh, we Webby tells them that she has some sort of um, mystical power that can t t that can uh, uh, t turn them into uh, uh, into bugs that she can smush. They believe her and go running away. So yeah, th th those are the kind of character. Those are the kind of villains that come to mind when I think of cowardly villains. Uh, I I I I, th I think that uh, uh, that that uh, Pitch was was more afraid of something that 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 would and could actually hurt him. That that, that could and would actually hurt him, like when his uh, n nightmares turned on him and that kind of stuff. He tried to kill Jamie. Again, he's the villain. What did you expect him to do? Um, uh, I pretty much went over this with the he killed Sandy complaint. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I mean, uh, again, in, in, um, unless you're dealing with a more anti-hero type villain that has some sort of moral compass, you can't expect them to not want to kill somebody. So this is really more of a complaint with uh, villains in general than uh, just Pitch himself. Um, so nice try, but uh, pick a better reason than that. He enjoys giving little kids nightmares. Well, he is the boogeyman, and he is the villain. Um, <laughs> um, what, what, what do you expect the uh, the uh, e evil boogeyman to enjoy to doing to kids? Um, <laughs> so uh, th this is a really weak, illegitimate, nit nitpicky complaint about him. That's a uh, um. <laughs> Um, ki ki kind of like saying that, uh, uh <laughs> that's kind of like complaining that the Joker enjoys uh, pulling pranks, pulling deadly pranks on people. It's what he does. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. He's a weak villain. How? Um. I mean, while while he may not be out for world domination or something like that, like uh, like like your average villain, he he's got a lot more um de depth to him than than most uh. Um, th th than most cartoon villains do, and uh, and is a lot more interesting in my opinion. And not not every villain has to has to be out to conquer the world. Um, uh, in 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 order to be interesting, uh, in in my opinion, um, it, or in, in order to be a strong villain, in my opinion. So I, I well, well, like a lot of villain, and, and he doesn't have the weakest motives in the world. It's not like uh, he, he doesn't have the weakest motives in the world. It's not like uh, Cruella only wanting uh, to have a dog skin coat or Maleficent wanting to seek revenge um, for not being invited to a party or something like that. So th this is another pretty weak, nitpicky complaint in my opinion. And finally, he's too scary. Um, I um, I don't really see him as being that scary. Of course, I didn't see the movie till I was an adult. Um, so I don't know. He might have scared me as a kid. Um, it, it it's kind of hard to say. Um. Like, like I've said before, different things scare different people. Um, uh, 
I mean, if, uh, um, if, if, if he looks like the type of thing that, uh, that, that, that would, uh, scare your child, um, it's, no, no, um, then, uh, then, then, uh, you, if, if your child is easily frightened by things, then you, uh, need, need, pro probably need, need to know your child and know what type of things frighten them, and it's not a bad idea to let your kid step outside their comfort zone at some point and be, um, a, a little spooked by something. Um... And I mean, if he if he if he still scares you, even though you're an adult, um, and no, no, nobody's forcing you to watch him or anything like that. Um, like, like I said, different things scared different different things scared different people. Um, like I was scared of uh, uh, Sid's mutant toys when I was a kid. Um, probably the only thing that still the, the only thing in uh, on TV that still kind of gives me the creeps as an adult are the, uh, the, uh, v villains in, uh, in the original, in, in the, uh, uh, first Thor movie, um, and that's actually mostly because they look kind of like, uh, demo demonic creatures that used to appear when I, um, in seizures, when I would have seizures, um, yeah, I know that's kind of weird and creepy, but, uh, they're, they're the only thing that I can think of that still kind of gives me the creeps and that I don't enjoy watching, um, anyway, that's about all that I have to say, uh, um, per personally, I like Pitch a lot, um, he's probably my favorite character in the, uh, uh, in the Rise of the Guardians movie. Um, you know me, I almost always root for the villain, and he's definitely in my top ten favorite, uh, animated villains. Like I said, he's got, he's definitely got some depth and complexity to him that the average animated villain doesn't have. Um... Um, and, and he's a really interesting character, in my opinion. The, uh, the link to my first video and my friend, and my friend's two videos will be in the description box below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, and see you next time.